Hi! Please click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon right next to it so that you get notified every time I upload a new video and it's absolutely free. Hello health nuts, welcome to my channel. So earlier I had shared a full day 900 calorie meal plan on my channel and you guys liked it a lot and I got few requests to share a full week's meal plan. So here it is, a 900 calorie full week meal plan for you guys that will help you lose a lot of weight in a very short period of time. And this meal plan is going to be very interesting because you will have a new menu every day so that you don't get bored and you will get motivated to stick to this diet plan for the entire 7 days. But before we get into the actual meal plan, let's Let's just quickly understand how our body works towards losing weight in a short period of time. Now this is what is taught in Nutrition 101. There are three macronutrients that are essential for your body and that your body needs on a daily basis to function properly. These are proteins, carbohydrates and fats. Now it takes more work by your body to digest and metabolize protein rich foods than it takes to digest carbohydrates or fats which means your body burns more calories in processing proteins. Also since proteins takes longer to digest, you feel full sooner and you stay full for a longer duration after consuming protein rich foods. So going on a high protein, low carb and low fats diet will help you lose a lot of weight in a short period of time. So let's look at the meal plan now in which I have tried to incorporate a lot of high protein foods and limited carbohydrates and fats. To begin, on day 1 start your day at 7am by having a glass of warm lemon water. Having this first thing in the morning will kickstart your metabolism and it will also flush out any toxins from your digestive system and will rehydrate your body. So have this lemon water first thing in the morning every day. Have your breakfast within 1 hour of waking up. For breakfast on day 1, you can have my breakfast smoothie which is packed with protein and fiber rich superfoods. You can check out the link in the description box or click on the card up top to see the complete recipe of this breakfast smoothie and the benefits of it. Couple of hours later at about 10 am, have 4 soaked almonds and 2 walnuts. These nuts are high in healthy fats and will keep you full till lunchtime. Have these nuts as your morning snacks every day in this diet plan. Along with this also have 1 cup of matcha green tea. It's a finely ground powdered form of the most potent kind of green tea leaves. 1 cup of matcha green tea has the nutritional equivalent of 10 cups of normal green tea. It is super high in antioxidants and it also helps in curbing your appetite by reducing unnecessary cravings. Next it's lunch time. Now on day 1 for lunch have a portion of baked fish with some stir fried mix vegetables. You can use any white fish of your choice. Fish is a super rich source of protein, vitamin D and omega 3 fatty acids. Here I have made a very simple lemon garlic and herb baked snapper. I will be sharing the recipe of this very soon on my channel so stay tuned for that and I already have a recipe of a very easy and tasty stir fry dish. Do check it out. Link will be in the description box below. Couple of hours after your lunch have a fruit. You can have either one orange or one guava. Both the fruits are rich in protein and other vitamins and minerals. Have a portion of either of these fruits as your evening snacks every day as a part of this diet plan. At 4 pm rehydrate yourself with a refreshing sattu drink. Sattu is also known as Bengal gram flour or roasted gram flour. It's packed with proteins and dietary fiber. To make this sattu drink in a glass simply take one heaped tablespoon of sattu powder, a pinch of salt and cold water. Mix it well and it's ready. It'll keep you full till dinner time. For dinner on day one you can have my rajma or kidney bean soup. It is very easy to prepare and it is very delicious as well. You can check out the recipe on my channel. Link will be in the description box below. Rajma or kidney bean is a super rich source of protein and it is packed with dietary fiber. It will keep you full till the next morning. At 8 pm end your day with a cup of turmeric tea. This will keep your metabolism active even while you are sleeping. It will help in digestion and will reduce bloating. Have this turmeric tea every night as a part of this diet plan. I have a video where I have spoken in detail about the recipe and benefits of turmeric tea. You can check it out on my channel. A link will be in the description box below. Now moving on to day 2. For your breakfast have one boiled egg. 1 slice of whole wheat toast with half tablespoon of peanut butter. Make sure that you have a light or low calorie version. Along with your breakfast, have 1 cup of matcha green tea. On day 2, for lunch, 
have one roti or chapati with vegetables or sabzi of your choice along with a bowl of plain boiled dal and a bowl of cucumber raita. For more detail on this lunch menu, you can check out my 900 calorie full day meal plan video. Link will be in the description box below. On day 2 for your 4 pm hydration, you can have coconut water with chia seeds. Chia seeds is a superfood that has this amazing property of absorbing water up to 9 times its own weight. So it plumps up in your stomach and keeps you full for a very long time. It also contains a high amount of omega 3 fats and amino acids. And coconut water is the best electrolyte for your body. It has high mineral content, it tastes great and has very low calories. For day 2 dinner, have a big bowl of quinoa and chickpea salad. I'll be sharing the recipe for this soon so stay tuned for that. Quinoa is probably one of the most protein dense food that we can eat. It has twice as much fiber as most other grains. Chickpea is also a great source of protein. Other than this, I have also used a lot of colorful vegetables that will provide the required vitamins, minerals and fiber with very low calorie intake. Moving on to day 3, for breakfast you can have overnight oats soaked in milk or yogurt and topped with fruits and nuts of your choice. There are a lot of videos available on YouTube with recipes and combinations for overnight oats. You can check those out if you want or you can just customize it as per your taste. You can use any fruits and nuts that is high in protein content. For your lunch on day 3, you can have egg curry or any other preparation of egg along with one chapati or one cup of brown rice. Now my egg curry recipe is very simple simple and I have made this using only one tablespoon of oil. Let me know if you would like me to share this recipe with you guys. I'll make a video separately for that. Along with your egg curry and chapati or rice, have a bowl of cucumber and carrot salad. For your 4 pm hydration, you can have sattu drink on day 3. For day 3 dinner, go for my oil-free vegetable soup made with bottle gourd, tomatoes and carrots. The full recipe and benefits of this soup is available in my other video. You can check that out. Link will be in the description box below. Now moving on to day 4, for your breakfast, have a big bowl of mixed fruit salad with fruits that are rich in protein such as kiwis, berries, oranges and bananas. Also have a cup of matcha tea along with your fruit salad. For your lunch on day 4, have a hearty, healthy and very tasty avocado an egg sandwich made with whole wheat bread. Avocado is rich in protein as well as healthy fat and it is very filling as well. I will be sharing this recipe very soon on my channel so look out for that. For your dinner on day 4, have my oil free chicken soup. This soup is very easy to make, very delicious and is rich in protein. You can check out the complete recipe on my channel, link will be in the description box below. Along with the chicken soup, have a bowl of cucumber and carrot salad as well. It's day 5 and for breakfast you're going to have my green smoothie which is made with a lot of protein rich ingredients such as avocado and spinach. Check out the complete recipe in my top 3 smoothies for weight loss video. Link will be in the description box below. Along with the smoothie have 2 hard boiled eggs as well for your breakfast. For your lunch on day 5, have one portion of grilled or pan seared chicken breast in minimum oil. I do have few chicken recipes on my channel, you can check those out if you want, I'll link them down below. Along with your chicken, also have a big bowl of steamed vegetables for your lunch. For your dinner on day 5, have a big fat bowl of sprout salad with lots of colorful vegetables. Sprouts are a great source of protein and fiber and are super filling. On day 5 for your breakfast, go for my strawberry yogurt smoothie. Check out the full recipe of this smoothie in my top 3 smoothies for weight loss video. On day 6 for your lunch, have a simple meal of dal, rice and steamed vegetables. Dals or lentils are packed with proteins. Make sure to have brown rice. You can make any dal or lentil of your choice, just don't add too much ghee or oil to it. You can add some vegetables to your lentil preparation if you want. For your dinner on day 6, have a bowl of homemade savory masala oats or oats khichri. Please do not use the ready made masala oats those are loaded with sodium and are not that great for your health there are a number of recipes available online you can check those out or you can customize this masala oats as per your taste you can add any vegetables or seasonings of your choice it's really simple to make you're almost there. It's day 7 and for breakfast you can have my whole wheat oats banana pancake. You can check out the full recipe in my other video. I'll link it down below. Along with the pancakes, have a cup of matcha green tea. For your lunch on day 7, have a paneer or cottage cheese preparation with one chapati or roti and a bowl of cucumber raita. 
Paneer or cottage cheese is very high in protein content. I have made this very easy and tasty chili paneer in less than 1 tablespoon of oil. I will be sharing the recipe very soon on my channel. Stay tuned for that. Now finally for your dinner on day 7, have a bowl of spinach soup with 2 slices of wholemeal bread and a bowl of cucumber and carrot salad. Spinach has a high protein and iron content and the soup is really easy to make and it tastes amazing. Let me know if you guys would like me to share my spinach soup recipe on the channel. And with that your 7 days 900 calorie diet is complete. If you feel low on energy or really hungry in between meals, you may help yourself with a serving of your favorite fibrous fruit or vegetable. You absolutely do not want to starve yourself in order to lose weight. For this diet plan to be really effective, remember to maintain a healthy lifestyle by doing 20 to 30 minutes of light to moderate exercise daily for at least 5 days of a week. Drink at least 8 to 10 glasses of water throughout the day. Stay away from all kinds of sugary or carbonated drinks and do not have any carbohydrates after 7 pm. Have at least 8 hours of sleep. Let me know how this meal plan worked out for you. Make sure to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. I'll see you next time. Till then, stay healthy, stay happy. Bye bye.